Christchurch Central Development Unit has been going now for, for just a week and just to let you know what we've been up to for that last week. Uh, the main task has been trying to get a staff together uh, and that's just involved putting some senior staff out of Sarah, putting them into this unit and also talking with the City Council and others about how we can access some of their staff. Meeting a lot of people obviously as you'd expect, um, I've been really um, thrilled with the response from the government agencies and government departments uh, about what we're wanting to do in our 100 day time frame, obviously down to the low 90s now, um, and they're very much on board and will work very well with us to achieve those time frames. Also had, had some uh, international folk from construction sector, they're very keen to get involved in the, um, the Christchurch rebuild. I've also been learning from them about how they've worked overseas, particularly around New Orleans and the involvement some of these firms have had rebuilding there. Obviously we need money and bankers are an important part of where we get money from and so we've begun some discussions with the banking industry to see how we can access the funds that they, um, they hold for this rebuild. Perhaps the, the biggest output to date is, is the request for proposal. It went up on um, the government tendering system last Friday and that's gone out open tender. It closes Friday week. Uh, we've had 250 individual downloads of, of the tender documents and in excess of 400 people have just had a look at it but not downloaded it. It's a very quick time frame to, to get it turned around. As I said, next Friday, Friday the 4th, it closes. We'll work that weekend to shortlist who it is that we want to make a presentation to us on the following Monday the 7th. We want to point on the 9th and they'll get underway working on the 10th. So the, the role of, of the appointed uh, and successful tenderer is to help us develop that blueprint that the Minister talked about last week and will range um, from architectural, engineering and planning folk who will be involved with, um, with that successful tenderer. The anchor projects that are included in that uh, include the convention centre, the stadium, metro sports facility, the public transport interchange, uh, memorial site which was mooted in, in the council's draft plan, the Avon River Park, so pretty much what we're looking at right beside us here, the square, the government um, and justice sector buildings and what, what's required for that, emergency services facilities, Christchurch Hospital, neighbourhood centres which include try to get the residential um, accommodation closer into the centre of, of the city and also an arts, culture and heritage anchor project. So that's just a very brief update from me. I'm really happy to take any questions that, that you'd have. We can see who, who's downloaded the documentation of course. We've had a look at that. A lot of the large New Zealand providers of these types of things are um, part of wider international firms. We've had, um, obviously, the main players in New Zealand have had a look at it. Australian firms in the furthest away is, is, is a London firm that's um, downloaded the, the tender documents. I know they've been working hard. Um, they, some of them knew it was coming. Um, they've been working hard all this last weekend, just gone. I'm sure they're working hard. It's a fairly tight time frame, so I think we'll get most of them uh, Friday next week. Yeah. Sarah staff, we're still trying to get it all put together. I think there's probably around 10 from within Sarah. We've got some short-term contractors helping us as well. So that will grow. I'm meeting with the City Council this afternoon to see how many they can get over to us as well. We've been given a really good start from the work that the Council's already done, which has enabled us to push the, shorten the time frames that was normally applied. They, they spent nine months on it last year, so there's a really good um, body of work that we can pick up on. So I'm very confident that within the 100 days, uh, Minister Brownlee will be able to say, here's my signed and approved um, central city plan. So we've, we've contacted the local architectural guild, I think it's called, um, to see if they'll be prepared to actually have someone from their association come into part of our team to work with whoever is successful. Um, last year, you, you may may not be aware, but as we commenced the demolitions and things, we had ho the Hotel Association New Zealand come to us and said, um, can we put someone inside of Sarah to interact with what we were doing then? So we're really offering the same thing to the architects, because we're, that's a very, very important part of it. We don't want to lose what is essential to Christchurch. Uh, yes, we've, in the last year we've actually had quite a number of interactions with retailers, um, folk who 
own and, and operate office blocks and so we're, we're talking to those people we have in the last week to see what levels of input they can have into our decision making, yeah, absolutely.